and that that process is quite abnormal. If you have opened, you have to close the process. So this is something I think you have understood. Now, uh, can you tell me that? First time I had given hundred, okay. The text file contains hundred, but next time I have given thirty. Text file contains thirty, but hundred is lost. What is the reason behind this? Sir, the mode used is W. W. So if I like to keep all the values. What should what should I do? Sir, we should use append small a. So let us try with the append mode. Okay. Very good timing. So let's say right now I provide forty six. We are actually two terminal left. I don't know if it then was some technical issue here. Okay. So forty six. So I am. I, I should get forty six here. Thirty and forty six. Because I have in capital one. But there is some problem. Problem is that these two numbers are not separated. Okay, 30 and 46 comes actually without any space. They are uh, you know attached to. So now, how can we separate? How can I print that 30, 46? Let's say I am going to print uh, one uh, arithmetic progression, one after another. How can I? Print them separated. Actually, after here, actually, after this instruction, this is the format for specify it. Actually, specify in this format value will be printed. So after the format specify, if I provide one space, so it will be printed. It will it will provide space after the printing. Okay. So let us run. Let's say this time value is thirty three. This time, let uh, now we have to check the file. Yes, there is some problem with the space. Still, that problem persists. What is the reason? Maybe I didn't save the file. So, uh, it should not be. Let me check. There is possibly. We should uh, we should uh, use space without spe specifier. Without? Uh, before the specifier. Before the specifier. That means space person. Okay, let us try. Maybe because uh, uh, actually I am facing some problem uh, because Linux base C and Windows base C are not exactly same. And uh, to change the version, so that's why I am uh, facing this type of problem. But in your Linux case, I have done many programs. They are still not face this type of. So, however, uh, let us say.
Similarly, if I like to get it printed in new line, so I will provide new line character here. Here, I uh, think space is not required. Integer is one twenty seven. You look at the difference here. Okay, it comes in new line. Okay. So this is the same thing. I think uh, in, in last class I was trying to convey that it is almost same as printer, but printer prints on the screen on the console, the terminal, the system. But here it prints inside the file system. File. So you need to open the file. Okay. Uh, checking the data. Okay. And uh, now uh, let us print two information, uh, multiple information. I am using these two. Let's say we have to take two numbers. I am not taking users. We have to take two numbers. Okay. Percentage, percentage, A and B. This is the format of information. What I am going to do is nothing but the format of information. Okay, so let me zoom in this part. Carefully notice this part. Oh, B is not this value. Let's say this is 10, another is 20. Okay. And that is the big problem. I don't know but what is the reason behind it. I have to repeat the same thing input twice. Okay. So what should I expect? This is oh I think by mistake I have said zero. It should be one zero. So this is something what we have done. Okay. So let us erase that part. Since I am using append mode, actually it is leaving the first character. So let's say I use W mode. It will be easier for you to understand. Same thing, it will provide the same thing for two times. It has been written, and uh, that is a, that is what is the problem here? Actually, I am providing ten. It is accepting zero.
that thing is very easy to okay. So that FA mode or W mode. So okay, okay, okay. These two are A actually. This should not be A, it should be B. Uh, a, B and A, B here. I think it will work. Okay, now next time if I provide 30 40 like this, then what happens? That is very good. So in this way, actually, I have, uh, actually used these two are the integer values, but uh, in reality, we record is made of multiple types, different types of values. And usually, it is a structure element, structure variable. So you can you have to do it. It's very common. Why this you can directly do structure element, but that will be too difficult for you. But if you individually put the value with proper format specifier, it will be easier. Or you can maintain structure here, but by pushing the value using a index, you can provide something like that. S dot A, S dot B. It will be much easier for you. Any problem with this approach? Okay, let us check if scanner statement. Assume these two information is available inside the file. Uh, I didn't erase the information. And these two are already still available. Now let me check. The problem is these two versions of compiler. These two versions are not exactly the same. So as a result, there is some problem with the execution. Some difference in the execution. Okay. Let us we have to open the file in RB. Okay. If you like to read the value from, then you have to open it RB. Okay. Then it should not be printed in the integer because the file and these values are available inside the file. Okay. So you can directly read the information from file. So if you face any problem, any doubt, you can ask the question okay, without hesitation. This time it will be M first one. Because now I am going to print these two values. Otherwise, how can you understand it as we properly read?
any problem with the code please check it is there any problem with the code no sir no okay. sir let us execute so i think 10 and 20 okay but if you still there are multiple records so if, if i run it for two times that means i take one loop here then check what happens so i run it for multiple time exactly it, it will be twice so start from one so oh, i is not this sir uh, that is a problem so and i will say equals to one ha huh? Yes, now is right. No, it's not. I right. not declare. Sir. I not declare. Okay. So just look at the output. Do you think it's the desired one? Definitely, it's the desired output. Because file contains ten twenty and in the next line it contains thirty forty. So first it reads the first line, it contains ten and twenty, and next it reads the next line. But A looks little bit weird actually. So if I eliminate this A, it will be decent to look at. Okay. So let us eliminate this. So this is the record. This is the information we have got from the file. Any problem to understand? Because file contains. Okay, sorry. This is something. File. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, this file contains this one, and your output is this one. Check it side by side. any problem to understand no sir no sir okay. so this is the way actually we do now uh, if i do make content multiple records in last time i had only one trick to Tackle multiple records, and here I have also uh, used the instruction to do the multiple records. But uh, here the condition is you have to know that there are two records. But without knowing how many records are there, how can we uh, go from start and finally read before we have to have no information is present? Okay. So that kind of thing you have to do. So let me remind the instruction I had given last time. So from your study material, I had given that is the that information P one. A C O F. Okay. So when it is equal to one, there is no no information in the file, or the file is empty, whatever. 
but either it is empty or all information is scanned. But as long as it is zero, there is information. So uh, why not I should test with this condition? Because always I am not looking for a particular number of people. So maybe I need all the records and uh, at the same time I don't know how many records are there. Okay. Uh, so, I write value. While now let us check if the program runs properly or not. Still, I think it is okay. Now, let us manually put some information into the file. So, let's say I am going to put 100, 110, 46, 67, uh, 78. 90, 93, 98, in this Now let us check what happens. Okay. Just open these two things side by side such that it will be easier for you to compare what is happening here. Now tell me, any doubt? If you have any doubt what is happening here? No, sir. But I have a question. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, sir, here uh, means if the uh, contents means if the file can contain a string or any mm -hmm. other uh, things. So if we don't know what the contents are, can we operate on a file? Like here it is. That is that is possible uh, by character by character. The first program actually it is an example of that. You have to read the entire file character by character. There is no other way if you don't know the format. Okay, sir. If you can read the entire file by character, then it is possible. Uh, okay, you, since you have raised that question, I will show you what is the remedy for it. If you don't know, uh, let's assume you don't know the format of information, but you want to see what is available, what is available inside the file. So, let's see, remind first. Because I had al already discussed, but maybe some of you have forgotten that. Uh, this is the instruction actually. This is the trick actually. We have to take one character variable using F get C. You have to read one character. Okay. I am writing the same thing here. I am not writing something else. I will write the same thing such that it will be easier for you. On this.
Now, this instruction will be repeated because I am actually reading one character next. After some operation, I have to read the next character, then this way it will continue up to the end of the character. So, uh, here actually this thing, but we need to print the character. Any problem to understand this part? No, sir. No. Okay. So I may proceed. This is the content. So this is Tauku. Any problem to understand this approach? No sir, got it. No sir. So these two programs, you can learn these two samples, I think it will be sufficient to do any file related program. These two samples, I think. If you can learn properly. By tuning these piece of, pieces of code, you can do whatever. At least, always you will not be very efficient programmer with this type of approach. But somehow, whatever comes in your exam, you can learn. Because this is just a, something dealing with a secondary storage. And if you can store the information and get it back, read it back, so uh, you can do everything like that. Here actually I don't need the format. Okay. Now please tell me if you have any doubt, if you have any, have any problem or any Query, whatever. 
sir so we use files to generate matrices Uh, sorry, uh, you asked the question once again. Hmm. So, so do we use files to generate hmm. matrix, matrix matrices? Matrix, yeah, possible, quite possible. Matrix is nothing but collection of information. So, uh, matrix is nothing but I can store some information in the file system. Why not connect with the elements of the matrix? Okay. No problem. If I can put A simple number, a matrix. Is, uh, I think a matrix is made of number. So you can very easily put it into some file. No problem. You need justify that statement. It's because the earlier person of statement, I have used some format specific some number uh, to put some information into file system and get it back from there. And that is also possible. You are successful. And why not? Uh, why is it not possible? We can put the elements of matrix, matrix into file system, and we can read it back whenever need. Okay, sir. Any other question? Sir, what is the data type of CH? CH. Okay. So I think this line specifies. Do you understand the meaning of C H R? Sir, uh, if we do some operation after extracting the uh, data from the file, then will it be typecasted or we can do it? Uh, that depends on what kind of operation. Just I have shown how to uh, write information into and how to read it back. Okay. So in the middle. Uh, you may do any type of processing, and after processing, your uh, uh, some result will come up, and that has some data type. So that kind of data type you have to write there. So actually, without specifying the operation, uh, it's very difficult to tell uh, that uh, what kind of data type is needed after the operation. If it is integer, if two integer, let's say two. Uh, The operation are uh, with the matrix, so it is transpose of a matrix or sum of matrix, multiplication of the matrix, and if you do the collection of integers inside the matrix, then definitely the, the output variable will also be integer, and you have to uh, put integer elements in the file system. But uh, if you require file system, let's say you are dealing with the floating point data. And after that uh, operation, the floating point data comes. You can directly put the floating point data into there, or if you like to typecast, that is also possible. Okay. After typecasting, so while writing, you, uh, if it is floating point, that is percent D, so instead of percent D, you change the format specifier as percent D. It will be automatically typecast. I can show you one example also. That is not very difficult for me to demonstrate. So let's say there is A. This time A is floating point. Okay. That's the point. Let's see. I'm initialize the value. Now, uh, okay, that's the right. The right. So the entry floating. Ah, huh, this will be float. This will be so. No problem. So this time I have to change the information here. Uh, let us check if I write percentage what happens, and then I will come back to. Uh, come to your question. Come back to your question. That uh, how do we store the data with type testing? Yes. Say A. Okay. 
understand the light. What is your problem? Oh, I think that's why they don't say it. It goes inside of me. This time do it. Hopefully, 100.7 is available inside. Okay, there is some approximate value is taken here. Now, your question is how to type that. So, there are variety of ways to type that. So, let us try one by one. If I type, try to type that, let me check what happens. Okay, this, this will not happen. Not required. It will cut type cut to in general. So I think this is sufficient. This instruction is sufficient. Some problem with the data type. Okay. Let me check what happens here. D equal to float. Oh, I have considered float. Property if I type first. So the percentage F will be there. Uh, where? So in the uh, that printf? No, inside f printf since you are you try to actually print the interior variable then percentage will not be there. Percentage. This is okay. We have to type first in this way. Before that, since A is declared as a floating point, so before that, we have to explicitly make it integer. This is the way. And since it this thing behaves like an integer, so we have used percentage. Okay. This is just Any other doubt with the file system? That means you think of the operation, what you have learned in your lab or in theoretical classes, you have done many different types of programs. So, uh, if you try to change the version of the program such that it supports file systems, let's say uh, you, you will not directly see uh, some output into console or directly you are not going to take the input from the user. Uh, it will be available inside a file and you are going to read the information from file and write the information into a file. So, is, it, is there any such program that you are not comfortable with that or you are feeling that that is not possible with the file? Understood? Have you understood my question? You have done many programs in your lab, but let's say I will try, I am trying to change the version of the program that you are not trying to uh, directly get the input from user. 
the input will be available inside a file. We have to read the file and get the input. And similarly, you have to put the output into another file. You will not directly show the output on the screen. So, is it possible? Check it. Yes, yes, sir. It is possible. Like we will open one file, uh -huh. uh, take the input, operate it, and then we'll like if put as and then we'll put the output. Suppose we name it as okay. input dot txt, mm -hmm. and another file we open uh, output dot txt. Uh, so that is that is that that is the good approach. In input dot input dot txt, you can manually create the that input will be persistent there, uh, that input will be uh, available there. And uh, using your program, you can generate output file, no problem. So check it, if it is possible for every program what you have done in your lab or not. So if you, have, if you are com confident with this approach, then you are also confident with the approach of using files. Hopefully, all of you have understood the process and approach. So, I think the syllabus is almost over. So, if you feel that there is a doubt, if you need any doubt clearance class or like that, so you must, you will write what email. Or, I think. A, it will be much better if you can collectively write one email. Uh, if uh, one of you should collect that uh, information from your friends that uh, this person wants to understand this, this person wants to understand this. So in this way, if you can prepare one sheet and then send one email to me, it will be much better. Uh, if you have any doubt, but that thing is optional. If you don't have any doubt, uh, you don't have to write. Okay, so for the time being, if you don't have any query, uh, if you email me, and if you have any doubt, please uh, send one email, collecting from you, collecting the responses of the entire thing. Okay. Because if you individually send me the mail, uh, there are many emails are coming into my inbox, so it will be very difficult for me to track, uh, or maybe there is a chance of missing out. So, one email with uh, the response of the entire class will be much more useful to me. Okay. Okay. So uh, I am leaving the class. So you may also leave. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.